Whether it's motorized or silent sports, Langley County is home to some of the best outdoor recreational areas in the state. This area is full of alluring terrain that beckons adventure, with 130,000 acres of county-owned land, including the Shawamigan Nicolay National Forest. I'm exploring northern Langley County to see why the trail systems here are booming year-round, and to get a feel for some of the activities that make Langley County the county of trails. So I'm here with Jack and the Antigo ATV Club, and we're gonna go riding on the trails around Langley County today. Now, Jack, what introduced you to ATV? How'd you get into it? I needed something to, to, to fill in a void for recreation, and the Langley County area has a lot of trails up here. You can be in the woods all day long. You could go literally all the way to Michigan real easy from right here. One cool thing about the trails here is that they're so interconnected. You could ride to pretty much anywhere in the county using the various ATV and UTV trails. Just north of us from here is the Wolf River. And it is gorgeous right now. Right now it is, uh, it's very, very high. You, we can cross right over it up here. I can show you lots of places that are just beautiful that you would never, never get to see uh, if you're out on that road. A lot of locals in the area plan their UTV rides around making stops along the way, especially to grab a bite to eat at a local restaurant. In many cases, you never even need to leave the woods to get there. You can be in the woods almost all day long. Yeah, I didn't buy this thing to ride on the road. I bought it to take it out in the woods. That's and what that's, a car is for. That's right. And this is a really family sport. I, I went yesterday with my family. We, we rode all day. And the kids, we had a picnic along the way. The kids loved it. That's why I do it. What a great to spend the day. <laughs> So when I went out and rode with all the people, I got to drive one of their UTVs, and that thing had some pep. I got a little bit off trail, almost got it up on two wheels one time, and the shock absorbers on these things are phenomenal because you're going up and down, in and out of ruts, over rocks, over branches. And there's over 103 miles of these trails throughout Langland County, so plenty to choose from. Oh, am I, jo am I jostling you around a little? That's what this is for. <laughs> we met at the Augustine Trailhead, but we could have gone in any direction to head out to all these different towns. We ended up uh, checking out some beautiful scenery along the Wolf River. There's just, just an amazing amount of scenery you can enjoy, and the majesty of the North Woods is on full display when you're on those trails. Motorized sports aren't the only thing to take advantage of here in Langley County. I'm up at Jack Lake, ready to take on the trails and bomb some berms. With these guys, we'll do a much better job than me. I joined up with some members of the Jack Lake Silent Sports Association on a thrilling ride through the trail network at Jack Lake. This trail system has approximately 12 miles of fast and flowing single and double track mountain biking trails. Throughout this forested labyrinth, you can find a course that fits any experience level, from first-time bikers to long-time shredders. Whew. Wow, these trails are great. They wind around all through the woods up here around Jack Lake. I tell you, you get quite a rush on these trails too because you can only see so far ahead sometimes and you gotta make quick course corrections. You're jumping over certain things. There's rocks everywhere. There's a lot of branches but you gotta make quick decisions. It's pretty exhilarating. The cool thing about these trails is there's a nice range because there's family-friendly levels of activity on here where it's relatively easy to ride trails through the woods. And then there's the stuff that's a little more challenging. I know there's a lot to do around Jack Lake, so I'm gonna go see what else awaits. Jack Lake is a pristine, crystal clear spring-fed lake surrounded by hundreds of acres of county-owned forest, rich with recreational opportunities. Families from all over come to stay at one of the 48 camping sites here at Jack Lake, and the outdoor lifestyle this area has to offer has even influenced people to move here. Originally being from Alaska, this is one of the best places that I've found in Wisconsin to being able to raise my kids with an outdoor lifestyle. The mountain biking in Alaska is pretty spectacular, and so that's what I grew up doing. And coming down here, um, we don't have mountains to climb, but we've got beautiful forests to go through. And 
Introducing my children to that, it's so much fun watching them enjoy the trails around here and learn how to, to do a, a sport that I'm passionate about. If you're looking to come to a place in Wisconsin that has great camping, lots of outdoor activities, Langley County is, is really an amazing county. When you get to the lake, it's really cool. They have a beautiful area there in Veterans Memorial Park. There's swimming and fishing and volleyball. They have disc golf. People are stand up paddle boarding. It's not a motorized lake, so it's really quiet. It's really clean. So there's just a little bit of everything for any outdoor enthusiast. And a nice way to cap off a great day is some great food and local entertainment. So among our activities, since it was Wednesday, we went to Elko's Music in the Park, which they do every Wednesday in the summer, and enjoyed a lot of great songs from a 17-year-old guy named Max Kepke. So we had a great time, had pulled pork sandwiches and all the fixins, and just great food, great music on a summer night in a nice little community up here in Langley County. I'm a believer, I couldn't leave her if I tried. You know, being up here in the northern part of Langley County is truly what the Northwoods is all about because you have so much beautiful forest land, had so much fun on the mountain bikes, just going up and down all those trails by Jack Lake that they maintain so well. And then of course the 103 plus miles of those ATV and UTV trails that wind through Langley County, especially the northern part, an absolute blast really. Langley County values its forests and uses them to the maximum extent. It's actually the first county in the state to have a county forest system. They established that back in the late 1920s. And the level of care that goes into trails up here and recreational opportunities up here, what they do for the residents here and for the visitors who come here, you can really see why Langley County is the county of trails. <laughs> 